and I hope you are doing well. And uh, I'm here uh, in Ningxia, so it's a city about two hours away from uh, from Changsha. And I would like to uh, show you a little bit. Uh, so why I came here? Because this city is very famous for the baths. So you have some hot water coming out of the ground, and they built many uh, places here for the tourism, uh, where local people go. And since it's less than two hours away from Changsha, you have so many people who like to come here during the weekend. Uh, it's really a nice place to go. Uh, I enjoy it. Now let me share with you. Uh, <laughs> let me share with you what uh, Nihao, what I uh, what I like. And what I didn't like about this place. So you, as you know, uh, bass is um, hot bass and cold bass is the culture of China. So uh, also the culture of, of, of the West, but in China it's a tradition. So you have many bass. Um, uh, and in Shangshai, I had been to some bass and as compared to here, I can compare the two. Uh, I will put the video for you of the other place. And the other place, it cost about 150. You can stay there 24 hours and you have two meal. And here is this place, it cost uh, us uh, 220 and uh, you cannot go out. Once you uh, go out, you cannot go back in, so that's really not convenient. Um, also, uh, you don't have any free meal, um, uh, so that's also not very good. And uh, I think you have more food, so for this it's a little better. But here, uh, so this is uh, for the other place, this is what is cheaper. The other place was cheaper. You had the two. Uh, inc it included a two meal. But here, what I really liked is the environment. Look at the sky here. Look at the trees. You can stay here, sit in the sofa. You have some other room here. Let me go inside with you. L look at this environment. The hair is 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 fresh. It's the it's, it's the countryside. It's beautiful. You know. You can take the bus outside. Let me sh first show you. In the summer, you have the swimming pool here. Now it's winter time, so it's closed. On the left, you have the slide for the for the kids, and you have many many pools, small pools, bigger pools, hot pools. Some pools you have uh, wa red wine. Some uh, pools you have baijiu. <laughs> it really smells bad. Some pools you have. Um, uh, so you have many pools, and um, this is really convenient. This is really convenient. Uh, so I really enjoy this, the fact that you had the, food, the pools and um, you had even some pool with chicken, uh, chicken blood, some pool with flowers, some pool with Chinese medicines. And this I really enjoyed, the natural environment, the pool. But what I didn't like so much is the price as compared to Changsha and uh, the fact that um, uh, many uh, pools are also, you need to pay extra for many things. For instance, you have the pools with the fish. They will, the fish will come and eat uh, your uh, bite your feet. You need to pay extra for this. Uh, you have um, uh, some massage. You need to pay extra. So you have a few things you need to pay extra. Uh, in fact, I would recommend coming here in winter when it's cold outside and warm inside the pool. And also, I would recommend coming here uh, in the evening. So if you are living in Changsha, you just drive the car with some friends, you go there, uh, you eat here, you drink some wine, you enjoy yourself, and then you come here and stay in the pool until midnight, and then you go to the, the hotel here. This is the main bath house, but you have several other, so you have a large choice. Also, it's cheaper if you, um, it's cheaper if you buy um, the ticket online or, uh, or maybe from... Um, online or maybe from the local uh, shops that uh, where you can uh, buy um, uh, maybe restaurant and place where you can buy the swimming clothes or even outside of this uh, uh, bath house they will offer you um, some cheaper tickets you know here this is uh, just a place to relax and enjoy watch the television and you have the view on the other side let me check the balcony let me check the view here with you and then i will fetch some more fruit the thing is uh, chinese people they always behave the same you see it's 4 30 and here in china chinese people they eat at six so it means at 4 35 they all come here to enjoy the fruit and then after that they will all leave i guess most of them will leave at 5 30 and go outside to eat because that's how it is so that's the hotel L look at this environment it's very cheap in fact if you pay 300 i think um 300 for one person you can have the bus and the hotel and but we didn't stay here we we decided because they, today is the end of uh, new year and there are many people and then um, there was no more room available you could uh, have uh, still some room available but um, at a more expensive price and so we thought okay let's let's go back to Changsha anyway so we don't need to stay there for one night but I would probably come back uh, with my wife and maybe some friends. 
just enjoying myself. It's a really good way to relax. Here you have the fruit and the juice. So I, I will just uh, grab some more because otherwise there will be nothing left. No, I'm not sure if there will be nothing left. I have the Chinese mind, you see. I'm not sure if there will be uh, no, nothing left. This poor girl, I'm uh, cutting, cutting, cutting. <laughs> That's how it is. It's a really difficult job for them, I think. Okay, uh, she's taking anything or it's like that? I don't really understand this, you know. This woman, she was here, there are two plates in front of her, but she doesn't take it. She just asked, uh, maybe she just asked for a different fruit or more, uh, more things. It's funny, there is a, a small thing for the kids. So that's what I wanted to show you today and to share with you. Um, again, um, thank you for watching and thank you for supporting the channel. And I hope this is useful for you. And if you are staying in Changsha, you can contact me. We can have a, have a go in the restaurant together. And also you can just, if you need some advice about, uh, about things here in Changsha or in China, just uh, let me know. I, I, I will be glad to, to help you if I can, as long as I can. <laughs> Take care, everyone. And um, let me go outside before uh, so I can, uh, I can say goodbye outside. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Uh, the things I also didn't like so much, but it's the same everywhere. You see here, the people uh, don't have uh, so much education, so they will smoke next to you. They will speed. They will. They don't have so much education, and you need to be wary. My wife told me this. I'm not sure if it's real or not real, but she told me beware because in the countryside. Uh, there are more thieves than in uh, Changsha. I'm not sure if it's just, uh, or if you just leave your stuff here, your camera or your phone, it can be stolen in one minute. These are my stuff, but there is nothing inside, so. <laughs> okay, see you next time. Take care, everyone.